And so with these 17 garments, I am going to be able to make at least, how many outfits am I going to be able to make? Uh, that can't be right. Hey everybody and welcome back. And today we're going to be talking capsule wardrobes. Now there are so many great reasons to build a capsule wardrobe, but we're going to focus on two reasons that I love the most. Number one, it is an excellent opportunity to kind of clarify your story, clarify the narratives that you want to tell through your wardrobe. And of course, I am all about taking back control of the narratives and the stories that we tell using our style and fashion. The second reason is nothing breeds creativity like constraints. So with these 17, 17 garments, two accessories, two pairs of shoes, and one bag, I'm going to put together 40-ish looks. Now this is of course something that you can do at home. So we got a lot of ground to cover so let's jump in. So this is how we're gonna run through this today. First, I am going to be walking through the process, the four stages that I've used to build this capsule wardrobe for myself. Then I am going to be showing you 40 or so looks that I put together using these items. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So a good place to start is always with the story, with the narrative that you want to tell on a day-to-day -day basis. That is going to be your guiding light. It's going to be your North Star. And so what that's going to mean for me and my capsule wardrobe is that there's going to be a general sense of effortlessly cool. There's going to be a bit of playfulness. There's going to be a confidence. And there's always going to be just like a little sprinkle, just a little sprinkle of like them. Now, that's going to translate into pieces that are going to be really easy to wear, things that you don't have to faff around a bit in order to get them looking how you envisioned. There's going to be pieces that are slightly masculine and things that, things that give you that sense that it doesn't matter whose closet it comes from. She likes it, she wears it. And there's always, always going to be dark sunglasses and shiny stuff because you know my heart. <laughs> Now, the second most important thing for me to consider was the general functionality and my lifestyle. What am I gonna be doing on a day-to-day -day basis? Because if I pick a lot of pieces that are just not gonna be functional, you're not gonna feel comfortable, I'm not gonna feel comfortable, and I'm not gonna feel confident, and it's just not going to be the move. It's not gonna be the look that we want. So, for my lifestyle, I am living in the city. So I am going to be picking pieces that are gonna be easy for me to move around and move about with comfortably shoes are going to be definitely a part of the capsule. Also, I am primarily going to work and brunch. <laughs> yeah, like I'm going to work just kind of out and about on the city on the weekends. I'm not really doing a ton of fancy dinners or a bunch of fancy events in general. So that is a whole section that we just kind of clear the table. Don't need that right now. Of course, it's great to have those pieces, but those are more of a accoutrement, accoutrement. Those are more of a side piece. They're not the main, they're not the main deal. So in this, this is going to be very functional for my day to day life. Just in general, right now, I am loving that aesthetic where you have something that's a little bit more cropped or fitted on top and a more looser fitting bottom. And I just can't be bothered right now with the very slim fitting pants because I, that's just not me right now. So a lot of my bottoms are going to tend to veer towards that, that end of the spectrum as well. One thing I don't have in this capsule wardrobe is a plain white tee. That is the building block of many, many outfits. For the silhouettes that I want to be creating, I felt that this is going to be more appropriate for my white and it also is going to go well with those looks where you just have like an over shirt on top of it which leans kind of slightly masculine but very kind of easy going and that's the vibe that i want to create so i chose this in place of a white t-shirt and overall, for the shapes and silhouettes, what I always try to focus on is creating some variety. So I find that separates tend to give me the most opportunities to create variety. So I have mostly separates, but I do have a couple of dresses. I have a midi dress and a maxi dress. Both are two lengths that I tend to really like. And so those are... 
And the absolute last thing that I considered was actually the color palette. So I'm the type of person, I really don't have a favorite color. I love colors in general. And so for me, it was more about how can I create contrast? Because I know that I do love that. And so the sh a lot of the shades are gonna be on the neutral end, of course, because everything has to kind of play nicely together, but that's also where you tend to get a lot of the contrast when you have a black with a white or a neutral with something that's really, really colorful and powerful. So that's what I focused on is really creating the ability to create those contrasts and the color palette just kind of landed where the color palette landed. Now I'm going to briefly go through my pieces because you're going to be seeing them a lot when I'm trying them on. So starting with the jackets, I have three jackets and one blazer. I have the red vintage one from Milan. I have my buttercolor laser jacket that's a little bit oversized. And I have my bomber jacket that just always feels really cool. Then for the blazer, I have my Saint Laurent blazer with my gold buttons. And this always adds a certain level of polish or elevation to anything that you place it with. So those are in there. Now for dresses, I have two dresses. I have this denim dress. This is from Zara. Um, this one is lovely because it is very sheer. It's very light and so it works very well for layering. Same with my slip dress. I have a gold tone slip dress. And again, you're going to see all of these when I'm wearing them. So I'm just kind of running through them. But anyways, I have the gold tone slip dress, which is gonna be excellent for layering. Um, and that's the dresses. Now I have a matching set. This is a matching set with this kind of tank, uh, polo neck tank and a, I wanna say pencil skirt. And this one is gonna be excellent for creating like color blocking uh, type outfits. And then, I have bottoms. Bottoms, I have one, two, three. I have my denim wide leg jeans. Again, because I want to do a lot of layering, I think that it's going to work best for me to have something that's a little bit looser on the bottom that I can like tuck things in. So I have those. And then I'm just absolutely loving the puddle effect with those very baggy, low slump jeans right now. So of course I have to have those. I have my cargos. Again, those are always kind of effortlessly cool, very, very, very still on trend right now. And they're something that I've always loved, so I got cargos. And then last bottom, oh no, two, two more. I have my gray trousers from Koss. These are also very baggy, so they will work well for layering and then very nice with silhouettes where you, silhouettes where you have them a little bit cropped on top. And last i have my leather maxi skirt this one is perfect for adding a little bit of shine a different texture to outfits and it is also another element about elevation and you can really kind of dress up an outfit with that and i have one sweater i have my unique glow gray sweater this is the sweater that started it all for me here on my youtube journey and this one is just endless ways to wear this so of course i had to have this in a capsule wardrobe and I have a couple button down shirts. I have a white one. The white one that I have is a bit more closer fitting to the body. And this is also to kind of allow for layering. And I tend to do that more with white button down shirts. So that's why I chose my closer fitting white button down shirt. And then I also have my blue one. This is men's uh, oversized thrifted. And I love this one because of it has the collar and the the cuffs here are also very stiff, so I, I love a stiff, stiff collar. And this one's gonna be great for layering for that over shirt type look, which I am also loving this season. And I think that pretty much wraps it up. The only other couple things I have, again, are the, the white tank that I think I showed you already, and then a black polo neck. So those are my pieces, and again, it's really not about my pieces. It's really about showing you how I went through the process and the things that I chose to kind of communicate what I want to in terms of my story and my narrative. Now, finally, we arrive at the fun part, the wearing of the clothes. So let's get dressed.
are you are the absolute best and thank you thank you so much for watching those are the looks that i have to show you today and don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time